If you follow the video and practice, you soon will be able to create the assembly soon. If you want to go and design your own assembly, you are expected to have mechanical design experience, proficient in SOLIDWORKS essential. However, for beginner, it is essential to have the skill, tools, and concept central to successfully working with assembly. So it is important to practice part modeling now. I've created the mechanical tiger assembly. I click play. The assembly modeling video will be covered in future video. For today's lesson, I will briefly explain the step to create a model. So this is the model that I am going to draw. And I am drawing four circle as the base feature, this four circle. And extrude mid plane 71. Here 71 mm. This create two bodies. Next, I will create a, a, a parallel plane 18 mm. 18 mm from one of the face. How I get 18? I take 71 minus 35 and divide by 2. So, next, I will create the sketch on the on the plane that I created. Extrude 10mm and be careful of the direction of extrude. The last part is to mirror the feature. So having understood how to draw this simple model, let's start our sketch. So we create. We are going to create a sketch. I click isometric here. So if you want to have the same orientation as the model, you can see that if I click on the front plane, this is what I'm going to get. I click front sketch. S key. I create four circle. Next, I create another two circle. Okay, let's do dimension. Let's go back to our first sketch. Okay, this one is 60. Diameter 60. Diameter 60. And diameter 90. Okay, next time mention the other two circle twenty forty forty and 
let's not mention the distance between the two the center is 105 okay 105 I click this center the origin and control click uh, make sure I, I, I draw a center like this Okay, this symbol telling you that this line is horizontal. So the sketch is fully defined. So we are going to extrude mid plane 71 mm. So I exit the sketch. S key. I extrude boss base. Select mid plane. 71 okay the feature manager tell you that now we have two solid body because they are not they are not linked together so the next step I want to create the uh, sketch plane so that I can get this portion here remember the distance from here this one to the to here is 8, 18 mm let's go to the plane command this is the normal to the plane command so you must be wondering how come you don't have the plane command in your head up view okay just to recap you go to option under document property sorry you go to option customize then you look for command tab and then look at this one Two bar called reference reference geometry. Uh, this is a reference geometry. So, oh here you got a plain command. So what you need to do is just click this icon and drag it to the head up view. So you can customize your 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 two bar. Click plane. Click this space here and i want the plane to be in another direction so i say flip offset and change to 18 mm okay so now i click the plane and i say sketch I normal to so now I want to create the, the next part of the sketch that is the radius 55 and radius 30 and two tangent line and press the S key so I go circle click 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 here center make sure you click the origin and the center of the circle S key again I want to draw line so I draw make sure it's tangent you can see the tangent icon click tangent tangent S key again I'm going to draw line Here, draw line tension tension 
人。You see here the the the, the icon shows that you tension, tension and coincident. Let's draw another line on top. Okay, now we can trim the the unwanted entity. Trim, power trimmer, click drag, click drag. So now I can do my dimension. So there there is a problem here. Can you see that it's only. It's not tangent the line, so I need to click this line. Control click the up, and I give a tangent relationship. And do I think I made a mistake? Okay, let me dimension first. Let me dimension first before I I I I change. Yes, click. So the radius here is thirty. This radius here. Fifty-five. Okay, you can see that the error is here. So, so, so let me let me click this icon and delete first. Okay, click this line. Control click the up here and give a tangent relationship. So now the sketch is fully defined because you have a true hole inside. So I want to copy the these two entity S key convert entity click this circle. Okay. S key again. Convert entity. Click. SolidWorks is different from AutoCAD because AutoCAD, if you want to repeat the command, your previous command, you just press space bar. But SolidWorks cannot. So now we have our sketch fully defined. I see the sketch. Go to. Isometric. Let's do extra ball space. Okay, so this is the correct direction. Is to go out because just now our plane is on the on the inner side. So the thickness is fifty five minus thirty five twenty divided by two ten. So ten here. Okay. So now we have uh, the web, and now you notice that the body is turn to one. Okay, let me edit edit picture because make sure that when you do the extrude, this merge result is thick. Okay, let me make the plane one disappear. Click and then hide. Okay, now we are going to mirror. 
select the mirror mirror command mirror about of course we can mirror about the origin here front plane you notice that the front plane is in the middle so when you do your modeling you must think of a way so that your you can simplify your modeling feature to model of course this boss base click so our model is completed so if you don't want this origin to 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 be appear simply go to hide and show item and then you can see this one is the view origin you can click the origin disappear okay Thanks for watching the video.